Major General C.G. Musa, OFR, the Chief of Defense Space Administration, the Commander National Defense of Nigeria, the Commander Defense Headquarters Garrison, Directors here present, distinguished senior officers both serving and retired, the venue for the handing and taking over ceremony between the outgoing Chief of Defense Staff, General L.E.O. Irabo, CFR, and the incoming Chief of Defense Staff, Major General C.G. Musa, Defense Headquarters, to his successor, the incoming Chief of Defense Staff, Major General C.G. Musa, OFR. Before we proceed with the event of the day, my grave indulgence to acquaint you on how the program will be conducted. First, we will be handing and taking over notes uh, to stop. between the outgoing and the incoming chief of uh, defense uh, staff immediately after the signing and handing and taking over notes. We will have the decoration uh, and presentation uh, of the defense headquarters uh, insignia uh, to the incoming chief of defense staff uh, by the outgoing uh, chief of defense staff. Uh, Next will be the remarks by the Chief of Defense Staff and thereafter we will proceed for the second segment of the program which will be conducted downstairs at the Chief of Defense Staff Carport. Request the outgoing Chief of Defense Staff, General L.E.O. Rabo, CFR, to please give his valedictory address. The outgoing Chief of Defense Staff, sir. The incoming Chief of Defense Staff, Major General C.G. Musa, Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, the Principal Staff Officers of the Defense Headquarters, the Chief of Defense Space Administration, the Director General of the Defense Research and Development Bureau, the Commandant National Defense College, very senior officers, the President and members of 34th Regular Course Alumni Association. I'm pleased to have you this morning. Thank you for the solidarity, for the friendship. Very worthy retired senior officers of the Armed Forces. From my vantage position here, I can see Rear Admiral Pat Law. I can see Air Vice Marshal and Navy retired. I can, yes, the others are covered on that at Fort Regular Course. <laughs> I can see the Kenyan, who is a Nigerian, don't ask Major General Austin Oku, retired, representing 30th regular course, the course that produced my godfather in India, that sat me on my head and I had to be hanging on the roof. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, let me say that I'm profoundly delighted and indeed glad to, on this day, 
prepared to hand over the reins of the command of the armed forces to a professional officer, an officer who is tested, an officer who is by all standard a model for the armed forces of Nigeria. And the person <laughs> and the person of Major General Chris Gambin Musa, officer of the Order of the Federal Republic. Let me perhaps pause to very profoundly appreciate the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, who found Major General C.G. Musa Uefar very suitable, indeed making the right choice for him to take over the reins of the command of the armed forces. I'd like to appreciate Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, for his leadership thus far. Whilst appreciating and thanking God for bringing him to the headship of the nation at this time, and for the very brave reforms that are already on the way, and in particular, the promises that he has made, both at the inaugural speech or ceremony of his inauguration as Mr. President, and the two times I have met him one-on-one -on -one regarding the armed forces, what his plans for the armed forces are, what he intends to do to astronomically lift the fortunes of the armed forces to greater heights. I believe that going forward, and I'd like to crave your indulgence, Musa, please, to follow on, on these promises for them to be brought to fruition. I'd like to use this opportunity to reassure members of the armed forces that the Commander-in-Chief and his promise that the fortunes of the armed forces certainly will be better and greatly enhanced. So I'd like to enjoin you not only to remain loyal and committed to the Commander-in-Chief and the Constitution of the Federal Republic, but to also ask and counsel that you redouble your efforts so that the cherished values and the professional standing of the armed forces will be maintained. And I'm glad that on this occasion that quite a lot have been achieved. And looking at the mood of the armed forces, that not only will it give support to Major General C.G. Musa UFR and his team of service chiefs working in concert with him to ensure that the professional standing of the armed forces will be lifted far and above the current standing that we have. Having said that, it will not be out of place for me to go through memory lane. In the light of my headship of the armed forces over the last two years, five months. Precisely on the 26th of January 2021, the announcement was made by the then President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces to the effect that I've been appointed the Chief of Defense Staff. 
and I'd like to use this opportunity to pay glowing tribute to the former president, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, who at the time found me worthy to undertake the responsibility and tax of the chief of the defense staff. Whatever his considerations were at the time, I may not know. But I'm glad that over this past two years, five months, his consideration, in my view, I believe if I'm to ask him to assess, I do not think that he will believe that our performance, my performance in particular, and of course the performance of the service chiefs were on the path. To that extent, I remain very grateful to God for the grace and his mercies. And to every one of you, officers that I hear, and of course across the armed forces, who lived up to the training and commitment, and of course, our ethos and values, ensuring that whatever responsibilities were, that you were given were met. I am proud of every one of you that you discharged your responsibilities very creditably. I am very, very proud that in the course of this period, that it has also been a learning curve for a good number of us. I believe that the armed forces today is far much more better than what it was before the 26th of January 2021. I am hopeful that in future, when General Musa and his team will have also discharged their responsibilities, that the, for the armed forces and indeed the nation will be at a higher level than what you find today. That's my prayer for you, and I believe God that it shall come to pass. I know that there will be a pulling out ceremony for me, but I think it's necessary for me to state that my family have been quite supportive. And now that I'm returning home to them, there will be greater time that I'll, you know, many of the things that they have been denied, my presence especially, which over the, the course of the last 37 years of my commissioned career, and of course 40 years, come 4th of Ju uh, July, in, during which my cadet training was also conducted. So uh, the early stages of my life, as, both as a youth and as a, as a full-grown adult, has been within this military job. So that said, implying that there is no other constituency that I belong, there's no other constituency that I believe my retired colleagues also belong. So it's a testament to our freedom and commitment to ensuring that not only are we loyal, but we remain committed to the Nigerian cause. And to you, General Musa, be rest assured that even in retirement, issues that affect the armed forces will be right in our hearts. We will give all the support, ensuring that the standard is maintained. I wish everyone the very best. Let me end this by also enjoining all the officers soldiers, ratings, airmen and airwomen of the armed forces to know that democracy is the best form of government, at least in our own political leadership experience. And so we must 
at all times remain loyal to the constituted authority. In particular, Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, and the Constitution of the Federal Republic. No doubt, political evolution is not without challenges. But of course, challenges are there and we must see them as opportunities. Opportunities to make corrections on some of the mistakes that have been made. And so, I am confident that members of the armed forces will continuously give support to the civil authority in our march and growth of our democracy. And I believe that Musa, being a very professional officer and general, will lead the armed forces to maintain this course that we have had over these past years. So let me on that note, thank you for coming and especially for the retired senior officer that I hear, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to witness this very glorious ceremony. I am I'm happy um, that um, every morning I did not look at we wake up to, first of all, my mind will go to go into my study with uh, the heaps of files that the MBA would have dropped, then treat them and then look at the time, rush to the bathroom. Now I'll take more time. I rest a little bit, come up, take a cup of coffee, and then find out what has been prepared for breakfast. <laughs> and then maybe after a while I look for an office where I can go to and then spend a few hours in the office and then of course end up at the golf course before returning home. I know that a day of that nature will come for a good number of you. Maybe I should also say that um, um, implicit in the development, of course, there are some of us who will be joining me in retirement. And I'm glad to note that a good number of you who, under, who understand, of course, thoroughly understand this cherished tradition, you're already making plans in that regard. This, of course, is commendable, and I think we should, as members of the Armed Forces, be very proud of this, that we have no reason whatsoever to feel perturbed over developments within our polity. So let me um, congratulate those who will be joining me shortly and to say that I'm going ahead to prepare the ground for you. <laughs> so that together we will have life, good life and retirement. Gentlemen, thank you and God bless. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to one of the high points of today's event.
Thank you very much, sir. Having completed the signing of the handing and taking of our notes, may I respectfully request the attention The outgoing chief of defense staff will decorate the incoming chief of defense staff with the engineer of the defense headquarters. And thereafter, present the defense headquarters insignia of command to Major General C.G. Musa as the 18th chief of defense staff of the armed forces of Nigeria. Thank you very much. He will be assisted by the regimental sergeant major of the defense headquarters. As a symbol of transfer of authority, Senior 
sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, to present to you an abridged version of the new Chief of Defense Staff Person. Major General Christophe Aguay bin Musa, officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, was born on Christmas Day. <laughs> on 25th December 1967, in Sokoto Town, Sokoto State, Nigeria. He hails from Zongo Katabloka between 2011 to 2012. He was also Deputy Chief of Staff Training and Operations at Headquarters Infantry Corps. Temple Infantry Center. <laughs> Our distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor and privilege to invite the Chief of Defense Staff, Major General C. G. Musa, Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, to invite us. Thank you very much. The outgoing Chief of Defense Staff, our amiable, legendary General LEO Irabo, CFR. The Chief of Defense Intelligence, Department Chiefs here present, Director General, Department of Research and Development Bureau, Commandants of Tri-Service Institutions, Distinguished Senior Officers, both serving and retired, the President and members of the 34th Regular Course, our Godfathers. Uh, although we didn't meet you, but we had the privilege of um, continuing from where you stopped. Um, the regimental sergeant major, gentlemen officers, soldiers, gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is indeed a great, great pleasure on my behalf today being here as the chief of defense staff of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> I feel highly honored and privileged to be here today. Let me start by appreciating God Almighty for making today possible. To also thank the Commander-in-Chief, President Bora Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, and everybody who has made this day possible. Uh, sitting here today is really, 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 really a day that I think I'll remember for the rest of my life. Sir, I want to say a big thank you. Uh, I had the privilege of serving with you on two occasions. Firstly, at uh, Army Headquarters Department of Policy and Plans. And secondly, as a theater commander, where you made the difference for us. <laughs> Sir, your leadership, your style your advice, your suggestions, it gave us that impetus to be able to achieve what we achieve while at the theatre. And it is that we are taking to transcend into the entire nation as the Chief of Defence Staff. You have shown us great leadership, purposeful leadership, and leadership without bitterness, and I think that is what I take home. I want to assure you, sir, that we will do the very best we can to ensure we continue. I know it's a very, very big shoe you are leaving behind, but we will try to fill it in. And I am sure I have members of 38 course here to follow me. <laughs> so the nation is going through so many challenges. And within the last two years, five months that I've been here, you've been able to stabilize the situation. I want to say a big thank you for doing that. And I pray to God Almighty to be with you as you move into the other side. Uh, be rest assured, we will not let you down. We will not let the nation down. Uh, members of 34th Course, we will not let you down. You will be proud of us. That I can assure you, sir. <laughs> so to those of us remaining in service, it's the duty call on all of us. This is a challenge to all of us, not me alone as a CDS, because I can't do it alone. Everybody has a role to play, including the citizenry. We must work together. We have seen how uh, the outgoing CDS has been able to galvanize the entire nation together, and that is the way forward. We need to synergize our activities together. We need to work as a team. 
together, I'm sure, will achieve the mandate that we're being given as members of the armed forces of Nigeria. I assure you, I will give you the right leadership. I will be there 24-7. I will be there everywhere to ensure that we move and we achieve our mandate. Once again, thank you very much, sir. We assure you and we wish you the very best, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. I just have a small uh, presentation to make to the outgoing chief, sir. <laughs> um, so I'm sure you're aware this is the Gokas knife. I do care. Um, to the Gokas, who, those who know the Gokas, they're among the most potent, potent military force in the world. And this is what they believe. And they always tell you this, that if anybody tells you he's, afraid of, he's not afraid of dying, he's either lying or he's a Goka. <laughs> <laughs> and it is this knife they believe is better than every weapon in the world. So, sir, I have the honor of presenting this to you as you step out, sir. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. And, and, and those who want to stand away, just do that. Have <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Please, another round of applause for the teaching vision. So, the Sorry. first set of group photographs will be the outgoing CDA to the Chief of Defense. Staff. Thereafter, those on the high table will join before we invite uh, the Grand Chiefs and uh, members of the default regular force and other distinguished senior officers. Thank you very much. Photographers, please. Thank you.
Jesus God into the gospel. So, Send to stand first. The man of God into the gospel. This peace. As the chief of defense staff, my promise to Nigeria is that we'll continue to improve on our mandate of sustaining peace and tranquility in the country. We assure every Nigerian to feel safe that the armed forces of Nigeria are up and doing, we're highly professional and we're going to be there for them. Nobody should doubt our determination to bring peace to Nigeria. Anybody, especially the criminals, insurgents, terrorists, anyone who thinks otherwise should be ready to face the music. The Nigerian army will come out, the Nigerian armed forces will come out in full force while safeguarding the safety and security of the citizenry. That we will assure you. On the issues of the welfare of, of the officers and the soldiers and also on the issue of discipline, will you drive it? Yes, I want to, um, I want to commend the the Adgon Chief of Defense Staff and Service Chief, they have done so much. The level of discipline in the armed forces has improved dramatically. Issues of welfare have been addressed, but you know we can never be 100%. So we'll continue from where they stopped. I will ensure our troops, our men, wherever they are, they will never be left alone. We will ensure that we give them what they need, what they require, and we'll take out the issue of their administration, which is paramount, because a soldier that is well fed well taken care of will give you the best. So they should not doubt we are here and we're ready and we're willing to do that. Thank you, Thank you very much.